this one. What do you think? You like it? Uh -huh. Care? Care? Hold on, this one. This is made of fur. Fur. F U R. Zip line, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's just 100 metres or 200 metres mm. down the road. We could go and check out that zip line mm. and see if the zip rips. But that's just an idea. Otherwise, there's lizards and other types of fauna, reptile, and uh, bird life. Mm. Gotta be real careful. Now, I did say I had the keys, didn't I? Get out of prison, right? Yeah. Instead of an ankle bracelet, they should make you wear a fucking sombrero, right? It's much nicer, you know, the public. I mean, put solar panels on your sombrero too, have a solar sombrero. Right? You can run your fucking mobile phone off it. Alright. You up the back? Mm. Caretaker might have come out. Oh, did we drop anything? No. Caretaker might come out and ask what we're doing. Here's the caretaker. The bloke I'm obviously very fond of. <laughs> I hope you got that. <laughs> I hope you got that. Did 
happy I didn't get those two Bollywood cast members, you know. That would have been fucking ideal. A few extras. Yeah. What I'm going to do over here, just for one second, you can keep filming if you like. But I need to hitch me horse, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll leave, we'll leave the bumblebee here. I suppose I can hitch my horse with a hat on. Do you need to hitch the horse? I'll be back in a moment. One second. Hey, but you know what, they did the right thing for me, at least they widened the hole for me. Get ready for that shot, I'm Didn't get that, did we? What a nice finish that would have been. Right round.
good thing about a hat like this, right? Mm -hmm. Is if it gets really hot, you just sleep under the hat in the shade. <laughs> right? Yep. Perfect. I don't know how good it is in the rain. I don't know whether I'd be that happy if I was wearing this masterpiece and it started to freaking rain. I could stand it for a couple of minutes. Mm. And then I'd say to myself, I'm pissed off. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> That's what I'd say to myself. All right? Twig, I'm just going to show you where we could sit and eat. And I reckon it would be the place of sheer beauty. In a few minutes, we're going to have the sun over us here. As you can see, it's making its way. This is the home of Captain Amigo. <laughs> One of the homes. This is the, this is the fucking patio of Captain Amigo. Huh? It's where you hang out when you're not doing anything too special. You lay your shit down. all in shape and you make a decision. I've been captive here in my cave now for well, hours and I'm pleading with these people next door. I've got a message that says please do not block my ventilation hole. It could be my last chance. So I'm going to take this message and I'm going to put it on the end of this stick which happens to be a fishing line which I've actually utilised as a stick and I'm going to get this message get the music ready, we need to attract our captors attention can you get that music ready? now I'm hoping this should do this should do, right? <coughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Yo! Just the message! Just the message! <laughs> I got him! I got him! I got him! You just need the message, brother! <laughs> you need some message! You read the message! Okay, load the gun! Load the rifle! <laughs> Give it back! Are you? <laughs> hey, film it, film it. I hope we got this on film. I got, read the message. He's got the message. They're very special message on the end. You read the message. Wow, I, 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 I. he's got the message. He's got me by place. Has he got the message? Uh, the message. The piece of paper. He can't, take the paper. <laughs> the paper, just the paper. Oh, he doesn't want it. <laughs> He's got the message, he's got the message. I hope, I hope. You got, no. <laughs> you guys are funny. He's got the message, I hope. <laughs> well man, this is how it goes, this is how it rolls. Ah! That's okay, thanks fellas. Yeah, knock it out, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're working together. <laughs> Go. We're nearly there. That's the work. Stop. That's good. Good, good. Good job, man. Good job, good job, good job. You're doing good, man. You got this on film, this is gold. We're nearly there. Whew. We'll be okay. Give me one fish, one fish. 
Thanks, brother. Call 911. <laughs> what did the message say? Like fish. We'll be okay. Like More fish. More fish. What? Yeah, good. Hey. Hang on. Give me another stick. Another stick. Yeah, give me one. More stick. Okay, hang on, hang on. Once more stick. Fishing hey, rod. He's got a message for me. He got a message for me. The stick. The, one. the stick. One color, no good. No good. No good. Give me, give me one. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. You got it, brother. He can have it. He can fish. He's a fisherman. He's no good at fishing. This one, no good. Bring back. Okay, new stick. New stick. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. We got one coming through. That's a ticket. We got rolling, we got film. Yeah. This no is idea. the moment when the guys break through. When friendship between two families shows true strength. This is. <laughs> Nearly, man, we're doing good. We're doing good. Faster, right? Shiva? Perfect. Shiva. Yeah, give me. Hello, my friends. Give me. Shepard Anglais. These guys are good. These guys are good. They're good. Hang on. Fishing rod. Fishing rod. Fishing rod. Fishing rod. Fishing rod. Hang on. Hang on. All right. We find something stronger. Give me one good. He wants another stick. Another stick. Another one. Put this one. Put this one. No, that's too good. That one's too good. Put that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. This is your friend calling from the subterranean cave. We have, we have exchanged a sword of goodwill. Dig me down another ten feet, mate. All right, let me go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm probably going to get the cement coming through in a minute. Get ready to film this. If she comes through, this will be a fucking blast and a half. Don't put the exhaust up. Be ready for it. I'm ready. Shit, my laptop. Get back. You better get back a bit, man. Better give me glasses for this. This could be. This is a whole film in itself, right? For people that don't know what's going to happen when you're blasting through walls, all right? Man. Can you imagine? Did you think you were going to capture something this good? No. I might have to tell the fellas that I'm born of uh, energy now. Now, what can I send the guys? Oh, a small Batman. Where's the Batman? Hey, I want my sword back. <laughs> Please. This, this. <laughs> Max, Max, this. My sword. Max, this. Oh yeah, you know, not him, not him, I'll find another. Oh yeah, oh he's good, he's bringing me a can. Oh, he's blocking me. Oh, be very good, I'm better. Like yeah, leave that, leave that there, leave that there. You watch, I'll load her up, right? You get ready, you get ready, you get ready. I reckon they're gonna put the exhaust on in a moment. <laughs> oh, he's bringing up the semi-trailer. We're gonna have the exhaust. No, he can't do that, no, he's, oh, he's, he's, Bloody RSJ and me. Not RSJ, yeah, Rio Bar. I've got, me, he's given me the Rio Bar. Ask me for a cigarette, we'll call it Truth. Hey, if we give you a cigarette, can I have my sword back?
tell him I want my sword back. Oh, yeah. No. Give us a cigarette. Yeah. Have you got one? Yeah. I if you've got a few. Yeah. Hang on. We'll give you a cigarette for truth. Yeah, I'll give him a cigarette to see what happens. Hashish! Hashish. <laughs> so I'll give him one of them cigarettes, yeah. I'll give him one of them cigarettes. Boss man, boss man, cigarette, cigarette. Nah, <laughs> nah. Cigarette? Nah, thanks. Yeah? Give me Laura, 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 Nah, nah. Give me Laura, Laura, a fish. Fish? Laura, fish. You know Bowl. cigarette? Bowl of fish. Give me Laura, fish. Bowl of fish, bowl of fish. Okay, stop. Roll of fish. He wants me to roll him a fish, does he? Yeah. Should I roll him a fish? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell him, alright, I'll roll him a fish. Tell him I'll roll him a fish. Yeah. Roll a fish, come in. Yalla, give me a bit of raw fish. It's, he's rolling it now. Roll a fish. Roll a fish. Just give him one minute and you'll get yeah. roll of fish. Yeah, please. Where's my plate going? Oh, uh, I'll put it to there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Max, is that just... Just careful cement doesn't come flying in on your face, mate. So fish, 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 fish. Put it on the end of the fishing rod. You have to put it on through the hole of the fishing rod. Where is it? Before you lose them. Say so fish for the box. Where's the fishing rod? Just there. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to go to. Uh, that far. Nope, there's the fish. <laughs> he wants the fish. front and so I want my sword. And I'll go around the front and say I want my sword back. Sword? Shisha? 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 Uh, you speak uh, French? Don't cut him up. Swordy boss! Get ready for a day. But just get ready in case the net comes through. I'll go around and take your face. Should I wear the sword? I'll wear the helmet round. I'll wear the helmet round, eh? No. <laughs> we'll pull out of these other exits. Good afternoon. Howdy. They, they pull out of this other exit and yeah. they get in the way of everybody, right? Yeah. And then you get some jerk that will wind down the window and go, Hey, you fucking and then it all starts. There's kids coming, kids coming, kids coming.
that's covered, that's high, that's the scooter brigade, Molly, it's the scooter brigade. People to know that this is one of the longest roads in the world. I suppose you've got the, uh, the Great Sandy Desert, you've got, ah, uh, no, fuck that, it's just carrying on about bullshit about the next roads, but I'll tell you about it. Chicken teriyaki, spinach and Red Bull, <laughs> that's what I'll tell you about. I'll tell you something that really gets something on the right? See this fucking weird shit going along the side of the road? That stuff over there, right? What annoys me is that if I'm crossing the road in a hurry, in other words, I'm running in front of a car, it makes it very difficult for me to jump on or off the sidewalk, you know? And it could lead to a terrible accident, is what I'm saying. If somebody puts a brick amongst that stuff and I don't see it, and I run through it to cross the road, I can easily fucking fall in front of the car, do a barrel roll, and be... See my point? Oh, get it out. Yeah, mate. We don't see enough road roads around here. <laughs> well, it's very quiet. bracelet they should make you wear a fucking sombrero on it. Right? It's much nicer, you know, the public. I mean put solar panels on your sombrero too, have a solar sombrero. Right? You can run your fucking mobile phone off it. Alright. You gotta film this. Right? You gotta film this. You ready for it? I take more of a liking to it myself, actually. Like, some people would think, fuck, how could a bloke wear a fucking hat like that? And I think, what kind of a man could wear a fucking hat like that? Obviously, I can. Yo, Egypt. Over a little Egyptian, fucking like a, like something that was coming out of Cleopatra's crib. Crib! Cleopatra had a fucking crib, man! Wasn't just some dude bouncing around with some hoe doing fucking, what do you call that? Twerking. Cribs were around a long time before twerking. So was Keith Richards.
I forgot. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about the beginnings of me being a semi-professional marbles player. And when I went on my first amateur tournament to New Guinea, to Bougainville, in 1977. A lot of people would be frightened going out in the wilderness into the unknown, but not me. So on this very day, <coughs> a crowd had gathered. We are out the back near the frog pit, which I'll explain in a minute. It wasn't a difficult shot. Had the Tom Bowler in my hand, in my right hand. I fucking drew it back like that and bang! Hit the bastard right out of the fucking circle. I was stoked. Anyway, I said to the bloke, hand it over mate, give us some marbles. And he didn't want to do so, so... <laughs> I remember telling him it wasn't his choice. I won fair and square. Possibly I could have told them I was semi-pro at the time. They didn't know. Anyway, I got the marbles off this kid. So that was that day and I left with the marbles back to my um, accommodation, which was further up in the jungle. The next day, in the morning, I returned to the frog pit. Now, I'll tell you what the frog pit is. In the afternoon, the evening, they'd dig a big hole about the size of a small um, hatchback car. They'd dig it about... <coughs> 10, no, not 10, six foot deep. And in the night time, all the frogs will jump in the hole. And then in the morning, you come out and spear your fucking frogs. Your toads, they're all in the fucking hole. So it's an easy way to catch and spear frogs. You can do a lot of things with frog skins. Medicines, I mean, from the, from the juice and shit like that. You can eat parts of them. And then the skins, you know, you can make stuffs out, out of frog skin. It's quite a tough, like a leathery type of uh, material. And they're quite easy to skin too, you just cut around the legs and then peel them back and it sounds like this. That's when you... Maybe a little bit more coarse. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, 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 hang on. That's quite... There, yeah, that, that's the one. That's close to the sound when you're pulling the skin back on the frog's legs. Anyway, so I go around to the frog pit and guess what? There's a whole heap of new faces, new guys, and they were there for me. They wanted the marbles back. So, I was pretty pissed off. I was very fucking pissed off. But, when there's all these guys hanging around with knives and spears and they're insisting on the marbles or I'm going in the pit with the frogs, one has to make a decision, so I gave back the marbles. Now, I'm going to admit, I cried. I was pretty upset, and I ran back to my host, and I said, what are you going to do? Those pricks have stolen my marbles. They've taken my fucking marbles. He said, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I said, well, I'll explain the story. I said, round at the frog pit right now, they've got my marbles. So he said, grab the Kodak. And I said, why the Kodak? He said, just grab it. So I grabbed the fucking, it's like a little box brownie, tiny little thing. I throw it to him, Mr. D. Hmm. We run round there and he looks at him. He says, you little rascals, clickety, 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 clickety. I've got your soul. I looked at him, he looked at me, and he winked and put his thumb up. And all these blokes, they ran off, they shit themselves. I said to him, I said, what's going on, Mr. D? He said, well, he said, these blokes, they don't, they say, this little box, so they don't know what's in it, mate. They don't know what's in it. But I tell them, I show them a picture later. They think I'm taking their soul out of the box. So they get very scared. Now that is the day that I gave up marbles and decided that I wanted to be an actor. There you go.
Can, can you go like that, facing me? You sure can. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go like that, facing you. Or... Right, turn, turn, turn towards me. Alright, then I'll have to right. throw the other leg over, mate. That's you. Now, with, with your... Right little... side of the Sheila. I'm just putting that over there. Right, so with your left arm, yeah. go like... Rest up. My hand's cold. I'm just... Okay, so... Uh, you might have to turn more like that. Camera. Perfect, okay? Um, as long as possible. <laughs>